you know, another way to play if you don't want to play rhythmically like that. Right, that's C, F, C, G, right? The C, fifth down is the F, the fifth up is the G. So you could play rhythmically. Or you can also play swells. And if you play a swell, basically what a swell is, is like this. Just hold the chord. Remember, if I want to do a minor chord, I just move one sort of button, you know, over. And I can still play it together with the root. So if I want to play a C major chord, I'll play these two, right? Because that's C, remember? Root, major, minor, diminished. I'm sorry, root, major, minor, seventh, diminished. So if I want to play a C major chord, like a swell, I'll play these two together. If I want to play a minor, I will still play the root, but now I'll play the minor. And if I want to play the seventh, same thing, you can hold the root, and then you want to do the fourth one over in that line, which will be the seventh. And it's really as easy as that. I mean, after that, you know, it's really just practice. So um, I did just want to show you the basic structure of how the buttons are arranged on the left-hand side because this can be a little bit overwhelming when you look at it. You say, I have no idea how those buttons are arranged. If you know a little bit about music theory and you understand fifths, right, and understand that they're arranged in fifths in lines this way, and then you understand that within that line they're arranged in the root, then the third back there, and then the you know, the major, the minor, the seventh, and the diminished, and you just practice, you should be able to, you know, coordinate the left and right hands, and before long you'll be playing the accordion.